A function is a predefined formula that Excel has so that you can avoid having to write out long formulas. For example, here are some common functions that Excel has. The first one, sum, will find the sum of a series of numbers. To type that in, it would take a while to equals, to write out equals, and then type in b1 plus c2 plus d3 and so forth. It gets long and tedious. So functions allow you to cut down the time by having predefined formulas created. If you click inside the formula bar while you're selected in L1, type in equals and we're going to write a function. SUM and this is a predefined function that Excel has. I do open parentheses whenever you're doing a function. You write out the function's name and then open parentheses and it's asking you for number one, number two. So I could simply type in b1 comma c2 or c1 comma d1 comma and keep going but that would be the same thing as before. What I'm going to do is select in b1 and drag all the way to k12 or type in b1 colon which is telling it to go from b1 through k1 and then close parenthesis I press enter and you can see it has added up all of this information now I'm going to do the same thing for average so we're going to type in equals average and I'm going to click and drag b2 through k2 press enter and it will show me the average of these numbers same thing for count equals count and as I type in the function it tells me what the function does this one counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers so I'm gonna go ahead and open parentheses select choose the data close parentheses press enter and you can see there's 10 cells that have data if I delete the data it shows me that there was a change. I'm going to undo that. Now max, that just brings the maximum number in all of these numbers. So I type in equals max and then I select the numbers. It doesn't matter if you select them left to right or right to left. It still knows what you're trying to do and it puts that in there. Minimum, it will show me the minimum number equals min now these numbers it's easy to see what these values are but if these numbers changed to larger numbers or if you had larger data to deal with it would be hard to tell at just a glance and this formula at a quick glance can tell me which number has the minimum in all of these I just put in random numbers to show you how that works so these are common functions that you can use. There are many other functions built into Microsoft Excel. To find new functions, click on the FX or insert button, insert function button, and it gives you a list of the most recently used functions, or you can try to type in your own function. To type in your own function, you can either type in what the function name is or you can type something that you're curious about. Maybe you want to learn create a function that deals with interest. Type in interest, click go, and it will show you all the functions that deal with interest. You can also search for the functions based on the category. Most recently used all financial date and time. I'm going to click on all just so you can see all the different functions that are predefined inside of Microsoft Excel. I'm going to click cancel so you can see there's a long list of functions that you can use inside of Excel.